Welcome to the story behind the hymn with Faye Wheeler. This is season one, episode eight. He Touched Me is one of Bill Gaither's story behind his most popular song. The first version of He Touched Me to appear in hymn form was in Hymns for the Family of God in Nashville, 1976. The origins of this song correspond with an account in the local Anderson, Indiana newspaper given three years after its composition. We owe the words and music of this popular hymn to the talented Bill Gaither. He wrote the song in 1963 after joining his friend, Dr. Dale Oldham, on a crusade meeting. While they were driving back to Gaither's home in Indiana, they conversed about how the Spirit of God was felt so deeply during the gatherings that they attended. One night, after one of those meetings, Dr. Oldham said to me, Bill, the word touch is a very popular word. It comes up so often in the New Testament stories about Jesus touching people's eyes and healing them or touching people's lives and changing them. It's a special spiritual word, and you ought to write a song that praises his touch. So I did. Gaither completed the song, working throughout the night, and revised it with Gloria, his wife, the next morning. This was the first song that Bill Gaither wrote that gained national attention. One of our vocalists today is Doris Wheeler, who started singing gospel music on stage at church when she was eight years old. In 1956, she started singing country music on Channel 18 in San Bernardino, California, and also sang on a radio station in Pomona, California. She sang every Sunday for the next 10 years at the First Presbyterian Church in Los Alamos, California. Bill Gaither's song, He Touched Me, has been a part of her singing repertoire. For approximately five years, she faithfully remembered birthdays of individual congregation members of Carson City's First Presbyterian Church, singing Happy Birthday on the telephone to them. At age 81, she retired from this ministry. A thank you to Doris Wheeler and John Schoff as they sing this song that has touched the hearts of so many people throughout the years, reminding us of the life-changing hope and joy that can be found in Jesus. Shackled by a heavy burden the load of guilt and shame then the hand of Jesus touched me and now I'm no longer the same he touched me oh yes he touched me and oh joy that floods my soul something happened and now I know he touched me and made me whole since I met my blessed Savior since he cleansed and made me whole I will never cease to praise him I'll shout it 
while eternity rolls. He touched me, oh yes, he touched me, and oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something happened and now I know He touched me and made me whole You are listening to the story behind the hymn with Faye Wheeler. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these brief messages. Blue skies. We can see blue skies again. We can breathe again. We remember just last week when that was not the case. Smoke filled Carson City. Everything was acrid. It was tough to move around. People were lethargic, suffering asthmatic symptoms, and not happy. And as bad as it was for us, we were mindful of those who were fighting the fire. They were out in 100 plus degree weather, on the fire lines, doing battle to protect lives and property. It's remarkable how quickly we become acutely aware of the heroism of first responders. But now that things are better, we don't want to take their work for granted. We want to say thank you in tangible ways. Mike Klug, himself a retired firefighter, is collecting baked goods and cards to deliver to the fire camp and the dispatch center for the Tamarack fire. If you can make the time and write a card or bake some cookies this weekend, Mike will be in the Narthex on Sunday to gather it all together. He'll deliver those things and express our gratitude for all the hard work those folks have put in. Let's be a blessing to those who have blessed us. Stories, interviews, music, news, mission. Stories, interviews, music, news, mission. Stories, interviews, music, news, mission. Aunt Betty's studio is producing stories, interviews, music, news, and mission messages. It is a new and exciting avenue for opening the gospel to Carson City and beyond. For all creative types, there are opportunities to get their projects out to the world. For all technical types, there are prospects for learning new skills and gear. For students, it solves the logistical issue of how to get community service hours. There is something for everyone. Aunt Betty Studio is a ministry of First Presbyterian Church, Carson City. Stories, interviews, music, news, mission. You get it all from Aunt Betty's studio. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set the glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place. What is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than angels and crowned him with glory and honor. 
You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds, and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea, all that swims the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Welcome back to the story behind the hymn with Faye Wheeler. The minister must have been surprised when songwriter and music publisher Mary John Weekin drove up for counseling in a brand new El Dorado and got out of her car wearing a mink coat. Her outside opulence masked an inner turmoil that was pulling her apart. She had co-written several classes, classics, was unable to admit her own alcoholism. She did know that her husband relied too heavily on the bottle and that he was having an affair. Their marriage was on the rocks. Her mother had recently died of a stroke. Her business partner, Hubert Long, had passed away, and a close friend who tended to her boat also died. On top of that, singer Dottie West was six months behind in paying back a loan. Things couldn't have gotten much worse. Surprisingly, this minister had never been called upon to counsel anyone before. And when she unloaded her burdens, he gave her some unusual advice. He suggested that she thank God for her problems. She followed his advice while driving home, and her tears gave way to laughter as she realized how unbelievable her situation had become. When she got home, she sat down at her piano and sang the first verse and chorus of One Day at a Time. She later reflected that the song was literally a cry for help. The song was originally written by the late Patsy Cline, but she was not able to record it. So she called her friend and former protege, Chris Christofferson who had recently not noticed a number one record with his self-penned gospel hit, Why Me?, and asked him to help her wrap up One Day at a Time. One Day at a Time has been recorded over 200 times and recognized as one of the 50 all-time most important Southern gospel songs. Join Doris Wheeler singing one day at a time. I'm only human I'm just a woman Please help me believe in what I can be and all that I am. Show me the stairway that I have to climb. But Lord, for my Teach me to take one day at a time One day at a time Please, Jesus That's all I'm asking from you 
Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. But Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. Do you remember as you walked among men? Well, Jesus, you know if you're looking below, it's worse now than then. Pushing and shoving, violence and crime. But for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone. Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. But Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. And Lord, for my sake, Teach me to take one day at a time. Thank you for listening to the story behind the hymn with Faye Wheeler. If you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe and ring the bell if you would like notification when this channel has new content. This program is a production of Aunt Betty's Studio, a ministry of First Presbyterian Church, Carson City.